Tim Henson with fizzledout.com, my soda blog. Just wanted to introduce myself here and uh, let you know that I'm going to be doing some more videos in the future, some taste tests and comparisons and stuff like that. Today, though, I thought I'd share with you some of my uh, cans and bottles from my soda collection. I've been uh, collecting these things for several years now, although I've moved a lot and I've lost a bunch of them. So I recently restarted up my collection and I've been buying some uh, stuff on eBay. As a matter of fact, if you look right oh, on the corner right there, oh, here it comes, here it comes. Ah, uh, yes. Look at that. It's a uh, five-foot inflatable <laughs> uh, crystal Pepsi uh, bottle. It's actually a raft, like for a pool. The listing said it was an in-store promotional like advertisement display, but it was it's just a uh, a raft or whatever, but still kind of cool. Anyways, uh, oh, here is an actual diet crystal Pepsi bottle. Still clear. A lot of them you find on eBay have turned yellow. Really disgusting. Uh, th this was introduced in 1992 or 1993, something like that. After the clear cola was a flop, Pepsi decided to reformulate uh, their their product, and they came out with Crystal by Pepsi, which was a citrus version. Um, and I'm going to be getting a can of that in the mail as well. So there were actually two different versions of Crystal Pepsi. This was the first one, the Clear Cola. You might remember the uh, Van Halen right now uh, Super Bowl commercial that aired. This is really my prized possession. I'm obsessed with OK Cola because I think the story behind it is just so neat. And I wrote all about it uh, on fizzledout.com. You can read all about it and check out some really neat artwork. This uh, this soda was uh, produced in, I think, 1993, 1993 to 95. It was aimed at the Generation X market. Um, and OK Soda had sort of like a citrusy berry taste, I guess. Um, again, it didn't make it out of test marketing. Uh, this is a full can, so if I open it, I could technically drink it. I don't know how it would taste, though. But, um, yeah, the artwork is just amazing on, on these. I just think it's so cool. So that's OK Soda. If you want to read a, a cool story about uh, soda, check out fizzledout.com for that. And uh, here's a couple of weird Japanese sodas. Pepsi Ice Cucumber. I actually tried this on an old video uh, for my podcast, Distorted View. Tastes disgusting. It's like sweet cucumber, and I chugged the whole thing and almost puked. This was almost as bad. Uh, Pepsi White is a yogurt flavor Pepsi. So just really weird stuff coming out of Japan. Uh, there's a new one from Thailand called uh, Pepsi Green, which I'm going to be getting in the mail, and I'm going to be doing a taste test of that as well. Some old 7-Up cans here. This one is, uh, look at that. Look at the, uh, the mouth on that. Oh, really strange. It's like uh, steel or some tin or something. And uh, Pepsi, or so, I'm sorry, 7-Up Gold, which I wrote about on um, Fizzled Out, another failed sola, uh, soda. Jesus Christ, I can't talk. Orbits. You guys remember this, right, from the mid-90s with the little floaty balls? It actually had Orbits.com. I don't know if you can see that there. It's now the travel website, but uh, before it was the travel website, it uh, went to a... Uh, so it's all about this drink. What else do I have here? This is a recent one, kind of. Mountain Dew Game Fuel. Kind of a neat bottle there from a few years ago. They're going to be uh, coming out with uh, another version of uh, Game Fuel this summer for um, based on World of Warcraft. I think it's a, it's a WoW promotion. And finally, you guys, a lot of guys remember Surge, which was sort of like uh, Coke's answer to Mountain Dew. Uh, it was popular for a while, and then Coke pulled the plug on it after it uh, started to lose market share or something. And then they introduced Vault, which a lot of people say Surge and Vault are the same thing. Vault is just a re, uh, you know, repackaging or whatever of it. I don't know if that's true or not. The only place where you can still buy Surge is Norway. They call it Urge over there. So I'm going to do a taste uh, comparison between Vault and and surge and see if they are um, similar or not. All right, so that's gonna be coming up on another video. So that's just some of my collection. If you are a soda nerd like I am, uh, check out uh, fizzledout.com and I will be back with more videos uh, with more soda nerdery.